Hey, I'm Russ. It's uh, Tuesday, November 29, and this is Sailing Vessel Tautog. Our status is uh, anchored on the other side of the Gulf Stream. <laughs> Glory be. And uh, I'm in the in an anchorage at Grand Cay in the northern Abacos of the Bahamas. And it's not my perfect location, um, but damn it sure looked pretty perfect last night when I pulled in. I was exhausted, and I am glad to have some rest. And uh, I'd like to share with you my trip across. So sit back, enjoy, and I look forward to your comments. Thanks. So this morning I ran the generator for a little while, and I ran the engine, and I pulled up all my extra scope on the anchor, and as soon as it's 9 o'clock, um, that's about an hour before high tide, I'm going to go and move up to the other anchorage. Then I'm going to jump in the dinghy, bus ashore one more time to the City Marina dinghy dock, try to fill up my two big water jugs and hit the grocery one last time, and then come back, then put the dinghy up on deck and clean up the top side again, and then I'm ready for a five o'clock departure tomorrow. It's like, whew. Okay, sailing for best vessel about time, and that's Taina, Tiana, Taina. Very good friends, awesome people, great boats. And that was my spot for three weeks. <laughs> that's where I rode out the hurricane. And it's goodbye favorite cove for me. Probably won't pass this way again. We just never know, of course, but... Huh. Just picking up the anchor, that was what I needed. It's, it's Sunday, good morning. It's uh, Sunday, November 27th, 6 a.m. Pretty rugged out there right now. Gotta be honest, I'm not really enjoying this too much either, you know. <laughs> My last trip was similar. The swell... <clears throat> Excuse me, the swell had been out of the east the other day. Well, the winds were out of the east the other day, and then they clocked them out to the southeast over the evening. And so the swell, excuse me, is a wee bit confused, as they would say. <coughs> excuse me, I'll get back and drink more water. Um, so I am, uh, I'm in the Gulf Stream now. I mean, right on the edge of it. Just now I'm hitting it, so I'm going to get, I've got about... Uh, 20 miles until I'm in the thick of it. That's 20 nautical miles, and at my present rate, that's going to take me about five, six hours. So we're looking at um, probably lunchtime being really set to the north, and then it'll start to ease up for us. So, so I think it's going to work out kind of the way I expected in that. Okay, so the time is 12 noon, November 27. Been underway for about 10 hours. Eight, nine and a half, I guess. We left at 2.30ish. And that's where I'm at. And if you see the line, that marks this, uh, the meridian of the Gulf Stream. And I put a, a plot of the point here as well. And it also marks about the center of the map. So we're pretty much at the strongest... Uh, and it's, it's pretty, pretty rolly and bouncy out there. And good winds, making good speed, but the price tag you pay is it's kind of bouncy and you see me hanging on at all times and I'm braced my, I've braced myself, so. So I'm tired. When we first left the harbor, I mean, I was <laughs> like 1.5, 1.6 knots and I'm gone. I'm good. And I was about to just turn around and say, fuck this, you know, pardon my language. You know, because I, I wasn't that far offshore, I said, hell, I'll, I'll, I couldn't go to Palm Beach with the winds I had. The winds were out of the southeast at that time. But I said, but I sure, damn sure, can uh, turn around and go back in. Um, but I didn't. I stuck with it, and winds got better, and we're making six knots through the water now. Correction, six knots uh, GPS. That's over the ground. And that's great. However, that doesn't mean we're going the direction we want to go. I'm at uh, latitude... 27 degrees, 38.3 north, and I started about 28.3 minutes north. So I've drifted north, been dragged north, however you want to look at it, for um, a full 10 miles already. And that's kind of what I expected. I thought 10 to 15 to 20 miles getting beat north a track is kind of what I expected, but I got drugged earlier, I got drugged more earlier I should use the word set. I, I was set more earlier because my speed wasn't good. But now I'm, I'm really cooking, making pretty good speed. And if I can keep this up for the next 
three hours we'll be out of the teeth of the Gulf Stream by the 1500 fix and then I might actually start steering. What some people instinctively do is keep trying to point into it thinking I can get myself back on track but then you just end up pointing into the Gulf Stream and then you stop moving. You'll be moving through the water but your forward motion out of it you know doesn't change and you'll just stay in one spot for the rest of your life. So the key is to advance reduce longitude and I was thrilled to see my longitude was at um, 07940 07940 uh, minutes and uh, I believe I'll be at 30 minutes in three hours better than that I think I'll be down in the mid 20s and once I get to the mid 20s and I'm gonna say we're kind of done with Gulfstream so I mean it's I don't like it it's still too rough for me uh, but the swells are not hitting me broadside or anything, so I'm not rolling around too much. Really, no cause for complaint. <clears throat> we have a snowway. This little bird has got to be in pretty bad trouble because he or she had been flying around the boat, did about three laps, finally landed. I mean, I don't think there's any way this thing couldn't make it back to mainland. I don't see how. So, I gave him my leftover apple cord. I'm afraid you're not going to make it, fella. You better stick with this ship, man. That little face here. Sunset. Sunday, 27 November, about 5.30 p.m., well, my time anyway. I don't know if the Bahamas has the same time zone or not, to be honest. Pretty rough stuff today, pretty rough stuff. I don't care for it myself, you know, I'd rather have tranquil, easy sailing, but it did serve me well today because I got across the Gulf Stream more quickly, and and I, I am across the Gulf Stream now. I'll be taking a fix in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes at 6 o'clock and see where I am based on GPS. Keeping paper chart only, the, it's too bouncy to be trying to have a tablet with an avionics sitting out there, so, and the problem is slow moving enough that you really don't have to have minute by minute knowledge of exactly where you are because it doesn't affect any of your decision making. You, you. Um, I will turn them on a little bit when I get close to the reef. I mean, if I can hit the reef, well, hit is the wrong word, I believe I'm on a course that will allow me to pass right over one of the gaps in the reef, which is would just make my day if I could get into that, you know, up in the shallow water, up on the bank, and that would just flatten the seas out oh, immensely and it would be so, so much more comfortable. Uh, and I could almost drop the anchor any place I felt like, really. I mean, find the first little island I wanted to and then get behind it and boom, drop an anchor. So, so I'm tired. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Um, it's uh, been... I got up. I, was, I really didn't sleep much at all last night, but I got underway at 2.30 in the morning on Sunday. And it's been about, uh, I guess that's, it's only been like 16 hours. It's amazing, you know, how quickly this stuff goes. Seems like a week's worth of stress and all that. Uh, anyway, back in the old power plant days, we used to say never make a decision when you're on night shift, you know. That is, never make a career decision or a big, an important personal decision on when you're in the middle of night shift or when you're really, really tired. So no decisions made, but I can tell you one thing. You know, I don't like this um, living by the seat of your pants stuff. If I, and I get it that this is a special case crossing the Gulf Stream. Uh, Frank, it, it's just not much fun. I mean, it's, it's, it's satisfying to navigate and manage your way through and deal with the boat and, and get yourself to the new places, the new place safely and all that, but is it fun? You know, and I think, I'm sorry to say the answer is really no. So I'm probably gonna... About 10 p.m. The weather has laid down nicely. 
It's a beautiful night. Um, almost cloudless sky. A lot of stars. Oh, maybe. Let me show you where we are. Oh, oh my god, I'm tired. Every time I stop moving, I fall asleep. I'm going to transition to the white light for a second. I screw up my vision here. But it's easier to take a picture this way. So this was our path today. I say today because today's almost over, but not quite. It's 10 o'clock p.m. Got started at about 2 o'clock in the morning. 2.30 I think is when I picked up the anchor. Got out the chat in the inlet, which was very, very rough. Because there was a strong outgoing current in the inlet so it made me seem really really fast but once that rushing water leaving the river or the inlet hits the sea it gets really really bouncy holy smokes i thought i was gonna flip the boat upside down and i didn't get too far um, before i was already getting pretty well set by the current or by the uh, gulf stream you can see me this is all with the boat maintaining the same steering the same heading steering the same course in fact continuing to steer a little bit to the right and that's what the Gulf Stream would do to you. It'll set you north, 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 north. And I was ended up about a full 12 miles north of the line I wanted to be on. This is where I was as of an hour ago. And that's my target to enter the uh, little Bahama Bank. There's something fucked up here. No. That's not right. That's my spot. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So, so, boy, that was really bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at, and I'm punching through the reef now on a heading about 1702. I wanted to sail the whole way, but the wind just has not come around to the west like it was supposed to. According to the forecast, by midnight it was going to be straight out of the west, you know, both the models agreed. But whatever, you get what you get, and what I, I still have winds bound from about 210. Well, it's 4.43 in the morning, and I just put the anchor down. So 26 hours underway, and, I, and I'm tired, and I'm happy to sleep, but I'm not in an anchorage. It's kind of going to be kind of rough and bouncy, but I, I'm afraid to move. I was uh, slowly going through this area. So slowly sailing like there I, I was just kind of ghosting along only making about two knots so it's not like I was making rocket like speeds or something and I was working my way trying to get over here to Great Sail K and anchor there and that's a, that's a good 20, 20 miles away so that would take me a long time to get there which was fine and I was just gonna slowly work my way there but I just five minutes ago and I'll see when the when the light comes out um, I, 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 I honestly don't know what the hell um, I passed two vessels close aboard and I just missed them one I'm sure had a mast and the other I'm sure did not but neither one had lights and I don't know Monday the 28th I'm sitting here at my anchorage my impromptu Hastily prepared anchorage. About should be just a mile or two away. I mean, I I know I saw a sailboat mast, and I'm sure I saw a small power boat, but nothing had lights. And I thought, holy shit, there are people are anchoring here with no lights. And then I thought, well, maybe it's a wreck if it's very shallow water. Maybe the sailboat's aground and the mast is sticking up. I don't know, but I, there were no lights, nothing, and it kind of spooked me. Because you see how the horizon's got clouds everywhere, so at night that makes it very difficult to see the horizon. And I was, I have a hard enough time seeing over this dinghy anyway, when I'm in the cockpit at night. It's, it's difficult to see what's out there. And I was also getting very tired, and I, just, well, I was taking naps, and I realized that you can't, because I was going to go another five hours until daylight, but I thought, nope, if there's going to be people out here with stop boats, I'm stopping. So I don't know. I don't see it now. I don't see it now. I don't see it. So either um, it was there and they left. 
or it's there and I just don't see it yet, or I never really saw anything at all and it's all in my mind. All of those, though, would have been good reasons to stop. So. Okay, so anchored at Grand K. Grand K. When did sunset? Monday. Left on a Sunday, got here on a Monday. 36 hours from anchor to anchor. This is. Yeah, I just took my shower. <laughs> just took my shower, and I think I'm gonna sleep pretty damn well tonight. Shower and a hot meal. Yeah, I need it. Uh, last night. Whew, I got pretty loopy. You know, I started at 2.30 in the morning and I couldn't sleep before that. So really, two nights without sleep. And I'm freaking tired. So I think tomorrow I'm not going anywhere unless I just wake up fully energized or something. But And well, I got my good night's sleep. And here I am, anchored at Grand K and I've been doing nothing all day. That's Grand K behind me. Um, over to my left on the starboard side is Little Grand Cane. That seems to be where the action is. Not much to report, except I've been a bum now, and that's kind of was the intent, right? To come to the Bahamas and be a bum on the boat. <sighs> well, one thing is interesting, though, is that um, two guys came by in a boat wanting to sell me some stone crabs and some lobster tails, which is fine if I had any idea how to cook stuff like that, and I really don't. And I don't have the big pots to steam them and boil them and stuff. So I told them, you know, maybe tomorrow I would come and um, get some that are cooked <laughs> to go ashore. Um, but I told them I couldn't go ashore because I haven't cleared any customs yet. And they told me I can clear customs right here in Grand K. So tomorrow I'm going to inch the sailboat in closer to the beach. I'm just too lazy to do it today. And um, and then and then I'm going to take the dinghy ashore for a little shore excursion. And the wind should be pretty quiet tomorrow according to the forecast. And that's good, and they're going to lay down even more quieter in the evening. And then on Thursday, we're going to get less wind, but a, a lot of rain as this big frontal system moves through. And after the rain, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're in for a blow. But I should be just fine to anchor through the blow, especially if I get closer in. So that's that. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be successful uploading this video or not. Right now, I... My phone has a cellular signal, but in the Bahamas, I cannot use my phone as a hotspot. I'm trying to figure that out. It's possible maybe tomorrow I can get somebody to upload it for me. I don't know. We'll try to figure that out. But, uh, I hope I can get it to you. But anyway, um, thank you uh, for watching. I appreciate your comments, and you all take care. Bye.